Peace, y'all. Welcome back to Low Life Academy's YouTube channel. Today, you're in for a quick treat. I'm not going to stay too long. We are going to talk a little bit about the Weiss Concise Trustee Handbook, only as it relates to a guide to the administration of an express trust under the common law, functioning under the general law merchant. Before we continue, if you're new to our channel, please like, share, comment, subscribe, um, and hit the notification bell. We're going to go over this express trust really briefly. Saving a lot of the information for tonight. We're going to talk about it on talk, and I'm going to go live this. Now, I know that there's been some concerns getting in on discord so let me just move this into frame and right here is our channel right, so this is our channel on discord so if you have a discord go ahead and then look us up you'll be able to log into this one q a open phone right so you'll be able to join us tonight the other platforms were for uh, some different purposes and then for our classes, all right? So you'll be able to join us tonight. This is our info. You need that little number right there. And then you probably got to, uh, well, no, I don't think you need to do anything else. Uh, if you have any complications, just look us up and shoot us a question, all right? All right, back to this stuff. Um, purpose today is just to shed some light. Um, we often don't talk about our journey, where we've been, what we've been through. And I think a lot of times people have a true misconception of why we're here. And to be honest with you, that question has been posed in one of the comments on one of our latest videos. So we're going to answer it today. And the way we're going to answer it is just to say that we're here to share information. Not here teaching anything, sharing information so that you can make an informed decision if you so choose to maximize that information. Um, while we're doing it, in terms of sharing information, we will provoke thought. I think it's only natural for us to ask questions <laughs> or, uh, you know, uh, provoke certain thought, right? Um, so we're going to try to do that. Uh, yeah. So without any delay, we're going to be brief. I'm not reading through uh, 79 pages as this copy is 79 pages. I'm just going to take a look at some basic information and then we're going to get out of here. So a lot of y'all, before I move on, a lot of y'all did ask for some information on the Express Trust. So maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe you will stick, you know, stick it out watch the entire video uh, maybe there would be some stuff in there you might want to see all right now again as our banner will say in the comments below or in the description below this is information we're only sharing information we're not promoting anything we're not soliciting anything we're sharing information so it's for educational and entertainment purposes, which White already says it might. We'll just make sure. All right. So, oh, Discord tonight will be uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you want to make sure you get on there. Actually, I'll be on Discord probably about 7.30. Give me about 30 minutes. Uh, but we're going to go in tonight like we haven't done in a while. I'm thinking I'm going to do a... Uh, uh, a decent investigative look at this stuff tonight, all right? So, without any further ado, why are we here? Well, we're here to look at a guide to the administration of an expression test. See, I think a lot of us have been hoodwinked, <laughs> bamboozled, and left to feel discouraged. And I think a lot of y'all um, probably have a lot of negative energy, I think, towards 
our academy for provoking thought. And um, that's okay. Um, you know, we 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 take it with a grain of salt. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit chippy, but we take it with a grain of salt. If you all would just take a step back and stop allowing the emotions to take hold of you and look at this information objective, it's either useful or it's not. Right? We just want you to take an objective look, look at it objectively. It's either useful or it's not. And if you deem that it's not useful, just like with everything else, move it to the side. We appreciate your passion for those that truly are searching for some type of information and find the info that we share to be beneficial. Um, but for the rest of y'all, if y'all don't find it beneficial, it's okay. Right? In one ear, out the other. In one eye, out the other. No, I'm just kidding. All right. um, this stuff here has been treated in such a way as to abuse the common folk and it's sad i'm not gonna lie to you i'm disappointed highly and how and, and i'll make a personal moment it's supposed to be history month right um and we should be looking at that every day but as it relates to history month uh i've 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 been disheartened for quite some time because how our folks approach commerce, especially as it relates to their their brothers or their sisters or those that you know are deemed similar to them, and if this doesn't help you to see that people are really here trying to make a quick buck and and let me say this. Even the Bible tells you, if you subscribe to that, uh, and that's a frame of reference, right? But if even the Bible tells you, you know, that you should not muzzle the ox. You should let the ox who's treading the ground eat. So if somebody's going to labor, and this laboring, y'all, to spend time to investigate, to come up with information, to do the research, to create the perspective, so to speak, in terms of delivery, and to try to hone in on something of value that you all can walk away with it's 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 a daunting task so i don't want to take away from the energy someone dispenses to get us to this information i know i don't take my energy lightly right so me sitting here doing this right now is you know i could be doing something different but nonetheless I don't want to take away from what people have attempted to do, but for those that have intentionally and deliberately taken advantage of our folks, it's time for it to stop. And that's all I'm saying. You know, if somebody's providing good information and, you know, they're seeking uh, acknowledgement, as some of y'all put it, acknowledge them. I don't know what's wrong with us. I don't know what's wrong with us. Uh, I heard someone say, and this is from a float. I don't remember which billionaire or whomever did that or said it, but they said something to the effect of whenever they go into an industry looking to start something, the first thing they do is they become a customer. They buy from those that would be deemed their competitors in that industry gives them perspective, it gives them insight, it gives them, uh, you know, uh, an opportunity, if you will, to mirror, change, uh, or adjust whatever that looks like. So it's advantageous for people to support one another. I don't know what the issue is. Now, with that being said, I will say that our industry, so to speak, this industry, has been marred with people taking advantage of each other. I give away the information for free. And when you get on Discord tonight, you're in for a treat, if you so choose, right? Or blog talk. We're going live, right? 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're going to be in for a treat. Why? Because I'm going to 
show you the means by which to dispel a lot of the chaos. It's all chaotic, y'all. Right? And I'm going to start right now. I don't want to make a long video. That was not my intention. Well, let me go through it. For private educational use only. That's all I'm going to say on that. Down here, it goes into administration of express trust created under common law, functioning within the unique system of commerce. It's a unique system, y'all. What is that system called? Law merchant, right? That's what the system is called. Now, what can I scan real quick? Uh, all right. Now, let me let me let me preface here because I think this is the overall intention of this guide. All in all, the author's objective by this handbook is to devise a simple guide, okay, with clearly outlined methods, okay, and sample forms. So they are already produced, y'all, sample forms, all right? for the effective handling of affairs of express trust, right? So handling of affairs of express trust, while also showing the many options for growth and prosperity and profound protections afforded by express trust when created and administered properly. Now that's the piece that I want to highlight. Express trust, when created and administered properly, provides a lot of the components that are highlighted up here that you all expect from it, right? This book is written in somewhat a unconventional manner in order to accommodate this objective. Cool, no, no pressure, no pressure, dope, I like it, all right? So let's see what it says. Um, law merchant, is embraced under general common law. General, right? General common law. For example, the original and unique system of commercial law in the American states in which there is no, no commerce regulation, right? Of express trust, except in connection with Income derived from corporate stock and physical franchises. Cor pay attention, corporate stock. All right. And then all of this other stuff. Now, I am not going to run through all of this right now, but we need to understand as it relates to this what law merchant is because they just said there were no. Right. Did I, did I, no commerce regulation. None. No commerce regulation. Right. So, y'all know commerce. Right. So, let me hop this out. And we're going to look at law merchant. Just a quick definition the system of rules and customs and usage generally recognized and adopted by traders as the law for the regulation of their commercial transaction. But they just said there was no commercial regulation and the resolution of their controversies all right so the law merchant is codified in ucc y'all already know a body of law which has been adopted by the states and govern mercantile transactions which is exactly what was just described here right so we're talking about express trust under common law that's the first part but they're functioning as vehicles in commerce. Pay attention, All right? So we pop this back out. I know, I know. There's a lot of stuff I want to go over, but I, I know, I know. Oh, oh shoot! Did I? No, I didn't. Cut now. Oh, there we go. Okay, dope. All right, all right. So we have that law merchant and international practice of merchants relating to commerce, commercial and maritime matters that has been judicially recognized and as such absorbed in the common laws of England and Scotland. So we come back to that again, common law. I believe that's it. All right, perfect. All right, dope. Minimize that. So here we're going to go right into just real quick merchant, right? So for those that don't accept that you're, you know, conducting business, merchant means a person who deals in goods 
of the kind or otherwise by his occupation holds himself out as having knowledge or skill peculiar to the practices or goods involved in the transactions or to whom such knowledge or skill may be attributed by his employment of an agent or broker or other intermediary who by his occupation holds himself out as such having out as having such knowledge or skill excuse me all right so that's just a quick uh definition they have applied but i just wanted to cite just for the hell of it ucc so that's where that is right so the main thing though for most people is this they want to tell y'all that you can have exemptions from this right as it relates to this so on the side that you're not seeing i'm gonna just shout out some quick things because this is i guess semi-important i guess all right so what we need to understand is that statutes uh state laws creates legal interests and rights federal tax law designates what interests or rights so created shall be taxed right so hence under common law right because if the statutes are recognized or acknowledged by common law under common law you get to create something and you have interest and rights in that thing but the federal tax law designates the interest or rights and how they should be taxed all right so i'm not going to go into this i just know y'all like codes and stuff so y'all can jump into all of that i don't even know what's after this screen after i pull this down but i'm gonna surprise myself let's see where we go Right, that's where I want to go. All right. So now y'all might be looking like, what, what, what are we talking about? Now, a lot of y'all don't know anything about trust. I'm going to leave this screen up for a second because that's very important. I want y'all to soak that up while I go over some stuff. All right. Now, what is a trust? Y'all should already know. It's a fiduciary relationship with respect to property. Subjecting the person by whom the title to the property is held to equitable duties to deal with the property for benefit of another person, which arises as a result of manifestation of an intention to create it. Right? That sounds like an express trust at that. All right. Now, an arrangement. Oh, I'm not going to go into that definition. Let me jump. Who are the parties to a trust? Grantor, trustee beneficiary right um can a trust exist without assets is one of the questions by definition the trust is a legal relationship with regard to property thus the common law rule is that a trust does not exist without a rest it has to have property american jurisprudence all right so that's where that comes from all right can a trust exist without a trustee is another formal question and the answer is going to be no all right so trust, trustees may die, resign, become incompetent, or be removed as trustee by the court for cause, right? If a trust loses its trustee, the court will appoint others. A trust will not fail for lack of a trustee, as I already said. All right, so these are just things I'm going over. I'm getting to a point, I know, in brief, I know. How many trustees are required? That's neither here nor there. Let's see, uh, does a trust have to be registered with the state all right pay attention unlike corporations llc's trusts generally do not file their governing instrument i told you i was going to go somewhere with the state to become legal however oh i'm not going to go into that either that's a different form of creating a trust so the government governing instrument which is very important here is what i want to talk about because common law declaration of trust is the governing instrument right this is the governing instrument that is used to create your express trust i just want to be clear i just want to be clear right yeah, declaration of trust i just want to be clear <laughs> two or more persons whether residents of this state or not may organize and associate themselves together for the purpose of transacting business in this state under what is commonly designated as 
or known as a declaration of trust. Provided, however, no such association shall ever be permitted or authorized to transact a banking or security business. What is it? Business, all right, of any kind in the state. So everybody's like, yo, why are you talking about this? Governing instrument. They just said, do you have to register with the state? Unlike corporations, LLCs, or limited partnerships, trusts generally do not. Generally, right? Do not. <laughs> file their governing instrument. I just want to stick to that for a second. With the state to become legal. Governing instrument. The instrument, the trust instrument usually indicates the state state law under which the trust is organized. Pay attention. If it doesn't, the determination uh, specialist should ascertain the state law and get a representation from the trust that is properly organized under the state law, particularly if there is doubt as to the validity of the trust. <clears throat> right? Another thing, trust must keep orderly financial books and records and minutes of meetings and decisions resolutions by their trustees. Pay attention. This is not me. I'm just reading stuff. I'll share it with y'all tonight. When does this da 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 all right to be exempt from the date of no I don't need today i'm not talking about that today all right how are courts going to get involved in this uh courts are involved in the administration of trust in many other ways right uh <laughs> trustee may voluntarily account to the court for the court's approval and the trustee's own protection right that's just one way now they go into chancery as well uh which i'm not going to go into right now uh, trust with their separation of legal and equitable property interests, right, uh, arose on the courts of law and courts of equity or chancery. Law courts applied fixed rules, whereas the equity courts applied more flexible principles of justice based on consideration of equity or fairness, right? The law courts handle claims for money or property, whereas equity courts handle questions whether a person should be required to do certain acts and under what conditions. All right, pay attention. All right, I'm going to jump over that. I uh, don't want to talk about that real quick. I'm going through this stuff as I'm going through it. All right, can a trust exist without a written, written document? Now, filing, <laughs> I'm going to come back over here, sorry. Filing a declaration of trust. Every such organization organized for the purpose of transacting business. Organized for transacting business? I thought it was, you know what? In this state or organized in the state for the purpose of transacting business. Transacting business again? Elsewhere, which intends to sell. Sell. Offer for sale. Sale. Shares, contracts, notes, bonds, mortgages, oil, and mineral leases, or other security of such association shall, prior to transaction transacting any such business, file with the Department of State a true and correct copy, true and correct copy, not original, a true and correct copy, not original, of the Declaration of Trust. I just want to be devil's advocate for a second. Under which the association pro, pro, uh, proposes to conduct its business. They want the true and correct copy. They want a copy of the Declaration of Trust. Some of y'all would have gave out a resonance. <laughs> which copy shall be sworn to as being a true and correct sworn to copy by the chair of the board of trustees. Ain't nobody supposed to get y'all the rich notes. Nah, 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 nah. All right? Named in such declaration of trust. I know I'm doing this, but you. Um, when such copy shall have been filed with the Department of State, it shall constitute public notice as to the purpose and manner of the business to be engaged in by such association. I thought you weren't supposed to go do none of that. The Department of State, prior to issuance of certificate, by it shall collect from the said association a filing fee of three things, which fee shall be paid into the general fund of the state. Well, I thought y'all didn't have to do that. All right, all right, all right. Let, let's see. Can a trust exist without a written document? All right. 
Yes, but it will not pass <laughs> this test. An express trust, also known as, is declared in express terms by the grantor. That's all I'm going to leave right there. Okay. Since a written instrument with certain terms is required under the organizational test, only an express trust written tr an express written trust will pass this particular exemption. <laughs> uh, document title, declaration of trust. That's one of the most common things. Can a trust carry on business? Because y'all are looking at me like, what is he talking about? Trusts are generally not precluded under state law from conducting business. It is authorized to do so under certain, under the terms of the trust instrument. A trust may qualify even though it conducts business activity, whether related to or unrelated to. However, corporations are the... Uh, usually the preferred form for conducting business for liability purposes. Huh. Huh. Uh, let's get this part. Yeah, I'm going to skip that part. I don't want to talk about that. Come on. I just need one more. What would they just do? I was looking for one more thing and I don't know if I just closed that accidentally. Uh, yeah, they're killing me. Yep, they did that. All right, I'm going to leave that alone for a second. I think I accidentally closed it. I had to. Dang. All right, y'all, that's the energy. So what I'm going to do is just continue. <laughs> All right, I'm 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 done playing. Um, y'all gotta look at this stuff, right? When you do the filing of a declaration of trust, y'all gotta know what y'all are doing. And I am going to go into it later on. So I um I need to pay attention. <laughs> I um uh, have some other stuff I want to show y'all. So you know. This is this is what I ended up doing, right? This is what I ended up paying for. And while I'm not showing it in the order I want to show them, this is one of those documents that y'all all were like trying to you know, go crazy for. I am going to show it to you today, so you don't have to worry. I'm not going to cut out parts of it. I already um, adjusted out stuff, so y'all can just see it in this raw form, all right? So this document is one of those documents I paid for. Right, but these documents are being sold for Google money, right? Um, well, actually, all the documents I'm about to show you, I paid for, right? So, watch this. Um, uh, so boom, this indenture agreement made this first day, blah blah, blah serves as a declaration of express trust. We just talked about that, right? And shall continue for a term of 25 years from this day between LOL, laughing out loud. Here and known as the seven and party of the first part and laughing my ass off, LMA, O trustee, here and known as the first trustee or trustee part of the second part under the name of, you don't know what that is, doing business as LOL, right? LOL. With this contract, the parties intend, intention to create an express trust. But what kind of express trust? An organization. I just want to pay attention, pay attention, right? So this is what I bought, right? Uh, for the benefit of the trust certificate unit holders and to identify, accumulate, purchase, and hold any assets that become available and to provide for a prudent administration and distribution system administered by legal persons, administered by legal persons, administered by legal, legal persons acting in the capacity or fiduciary capacity. So, Witness it, whereas the settler irrevocable assigns and conveys to the trustee and trust specific properties as defined in the minutes to be made in the future. This document in exchange for 100 unit of beneficial interest known here to as trust certificate units are missing. So 
this wouldn't be TC. You would just be TC, but it's units is missing right there. To be held with this indenture by the trustees for beneficiaries, also known as members. What do you all know members are? Members are what? Pay attention. I'm just trying to give you all the pitfalls, right? Of laughing, y'all know, to a business ass. All right. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this because people don't even know what this is, right? So, boom, you got a settler, right? And they defined it. Cool, no pressure. You got a trust protector. They define it, but they don't know what they're doing with this. They don't know. You got this, and mind you, it's two people up there, but all right. Um, you got this, and this is for most of y'all. Uh, let me say it this way, and I'm trying to be careful so I don't mean no offense, but a lot of y'all went and changed our names in court. So you all identify that entity, if you will, for lack of a better term, as the beneficiary or beneficial owner. And this it's not even beneficiary, right? <laughs> Which I'll break this down another time. Maybe I'll go into that tonight too. But nonetheless, y'all go into court and get this AKA, also known as name. And this is who y'all define as the beneficiary. So magic. The AKA name is actually the LOL. The LOL is the trust protector. And then the, this individual is also this, which you can do because it's not three main functions, right? You can't have one, two, and three be the same name. You can't, right? So it's okay. But that's what y'all are doing in essence, right? So I'm not going to read all of that, but I'll keep going now here because it's short. Whereas the trust organization is authorized to exist and function through its board of trustees. Y'all got to, I'm telling y'all, y'all got to look up some of these terms, y'all. Comprised of the total active number of trustees who are legal persons, legal persons, holding fee simple title, not differentiating between legal and equitable, not as individual, but collectively as the board, according to the inalienable common law rights, as if they're beating their chest of all sides. All right. Whereas the trust shall be amendable as described in the bylaws. Y'all, whoever is using this, you must have bylaws. If you didn't know, let me just read it again. Whereas the trust shall be amendable as described in the bylaws. Okay? So if you didn't get that in your package, you need to go get the bylaws. And shall be irrevocable by the settler or by any other person or entity except for, but said trustee can be fired by trust protector. This is added in and replaced by new trustee picked by trust protector. I didn't write none of this shit. This is not mine. All right. So just in case y'all wondering if this is me, I just duplicated what was already purchased. This is not my shit. All right. And I say that confidently. <laughs> All right. Where did I leave off? It is the intention of the settler to make the beneficiaries an absolute gift of the trust certificate unit. See, properly done down here. Listen to you up there. In which the beneficiaries shall not have any vested interest until the termination of this trust and final distribution. There shall be exactly 100 TCUs. All right. Which, if you're going to call it TC, it's not the end of it. Right. Whereas the trust shall be administered, managed, governed, and regulated. Pay attention. This is the most important fucking part. And I just cussed, which I didn't want to do. All right. Whereas the trust shall be administered, managed, governed, and regulated in all respects according to applicable, what do they say? Common law jurisdiction. Now, most of y'all, it's your particular state, but, you know, as it relates, right? As well as Uniform Trustees Powers Act as well as Treaty of All of This. Now, I was supposed to remove some of that shit, but I already fucked up, whatever. All right, I declare, certify, blah, 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 right? And the last piece here is trustee sign, so on and so forth. Now, look, look, I don't know if people know what they're doing, but there's a lot of errors in that shit. But nonetheless, this wasn't mine, and I bought that. So 
when I bought that, I went back and I dug. Y'all saw me share this the other day. I shared it. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I am going to share some components, right? Because it's the same exact thing if you look at it. Go back and replay it. But here, it talks about a pure trust organization, not an express trust. Right? Everything else is 100% the same. Right? 100% the same. Ah, oh, the joys of being outside. I got bugs messing with me. All right, whatever. Um, pure trust, right? So that's been changed, altered. Down here has been changed and altered jurisdiction of the state. Uniform trust. Treaty of, you know what? Constitution. And what? UCC. Why did they leave this out in the one that you bought, in the one that I bought? Right? Why do they leave this out? Huh. And then they got to tell you where the trust is down beside, which they added, right? So where you go from here? Well, shoot, there's more to it. This is the piece that is been, has been omitted. But I want to make sure that y'all see that there's no breakdown of the settler. Da, 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 da. There's none of that in here, right? Right? But in any instance, I don't want to cheat y'all out of anything. That's all the same. Right in the Republic of the USA, whereas the trustees, in addition, I already read everything up here for y'all. So minus the subtleties, but you can see bylaws here again because you need to have bylaws, settler or any other person. Right? They already talked about it. TCUs, everything I already cited. So whereas the trustees, in addition to all other, uh. Uh, powers granted by this indenture and any subsequent minutes and bylaw, see this is missing, shall be given the following additional powers with respect to the trust to be executed from the time to time at the discretion of the, the trustee. Now, uh, bugs are starting to bother me, so I'm going to wrap up, but this is what I want y'all to understand. This portion here has been missing. I'm going to leave it up for a second so y'all can get to it. Now, the proper way to sign is outlined here. Notice in the other one, there was no settler to sign and the trustees were the only ones to sign, right? So just pay attention. I'll just share that briefly. Uh, what else is there? Okay, let me see where I'll go from here. Oh, I was trying to show y'all where I evolved from. So here's another trust that we purchased. And this trust was from early 14 or late 50, I mean, early 2015, late 2014, but you can see the same language again, grantor, trust protector, trustee, beneficial owner, right? But this was what we were sold back then, declaration of trust for this estate, which is an unincorporated religious assembly. Now, the key to what I'm trying to show y'all, I will explain tonight, because I don't want to say certain things on here, but if you haven't seen it yet, you probably don't have eyes for this. And if you haven't heard it yet, you definitely don't have ears for this, but I've said it and I've shown it to you, all right? Where do I go? Is there one more? Let me pause before I just minimize everything else. Yeah, so on that note, um, that's all I wanted to share. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I just put in like 40 minutes and the bugs are starting to kick up on me. I'm out by the water, um, enjoying the cool breeze and just relaxing. But um, nonetheless, y'all want to make sure that you um take a look at the information i provided and tonight i'll go into a little bit more detail as to what i'm truly saying you know um these platforms are not it for us right it's not it so there's certain things that uh i don't want to be misinterpreted so i'd rather just have a closed forum where we can hash that out so if someone you know misunderstands or misunderstood we can address it. Uh, with that being said, don't forget to make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe. Um, all of this should have made you realize that one, people are selling you erroneous information. Two, if you missed it, the way in which you establish your trust can cause a lot of challenges for you. In addition to some of the 
ways in which you all have treated information in the past, you know, establish this or give this person, me and the grantor, one person, then the grantor goes and they're AKA on the beneficiary. Like you all have to know what you're doing, right? Because you really AKA based on going to court. But that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, look forward to, to chopping it up with y'all on Discord. So if y'all missed that, let me put it up one more one more time so y'all can see the Discord information at least. And it's right there. All right. And we look forward to seeing y'all tonight. Peace, y'all. Peace.